band of loyal followers. Now, Caddy, if we want this to work, you are gonna have to keep hanging out with them like nothing is wrong. Can you do it? I can do it. Okay, let's rock this bitch. Pretending like nothing was wrong turned out to be surprisingly easy. And Regina wanted me to tell you that she was trying to hook you up with Aaron, but he was just interested in getting her back. And that's not Regina's fault. No, I know. Okay, so you're not mad at Regina? God, no. Oh, okay, good, because Regina wanted me to give you this. It's called the South Beach Fat Flush, and all you drink is cranberry juice for 72 hours. This isn't even cranberry juice. It's cranberry juice cocktail. It's all sugar. I want to lose three pounds. You're crazy. Why do you wear your hair like that? Your hair looks so sexy pushed back. Katie, will you please tell him his hair looks sexy pushed back? Regina was dangling Aaron in front of me on purpose. I knew how this would be settled in the animal world. <laughs> but this was girl world. Your hair looks sexy pushed back. And in Girl World, all the fighting had to be sneaky. Oh, all this cranberry juice is making me break out. Wait, I have this really good skin stuff I'll bring you. Okay. We kept our eyes open for opportunities for sabotage. In a month and all we've done is make Regina's face smell like a foot. I've been really busy with choir. We gotta crack Gretchen Wieners. We crack Gretchen and then we crack the lock on Regina's whole dirty history. Say crack again. Crack. All right, let's reconvene tonight. I can't. I have to go to Regina's to practice for the talent show. We're doing a dance to this song. Jingle, Jingle Bell Rock. Rock. You guys know that song? Everybody in the English-speaking world knows that song. They do it every year. Well, I have to learn it. Uh-oh. Hey, why were you talking to Janice Ian? I don't know. I mean, she's so weird. She just, you know, came up to me and started talking to me about crack. <laughs> she's so pathetic. Let me tell you something about Janice Ian. We were best friends in middle school. I know, right? It's so embarrassing. I don't even... Whatever. So then in eighth grade, I started going out with my first boyfriend, Kyle, who was totally gorgeous, but then he moved to Indiana. And Janice was, like, weirdly jealous of him. Like, if I would blow her off to hang out with Kyle, she'd be like, why didn't you call me back? And I'd be like, why are you so obsessed with me? So then for my birthday party, which was an all-girls pool party, I was like, Janice, I can't invite you because I think you're a lesbian. I mean, I couldn't have a lesbian at my party. There are going to be girls there in their bathing suits. I mean, right? She was a lesbian. So then her mom called my mom and started yelling at her. It was so and then she dropped out of school because no one would talk to her. When she came back in the fall for high school, all of her hair was cut off and she was totally weird. And now I guess she's on crack. Oh my God, I love your skirt. Where did you get it? Uh, it was my mom's in the 80s. <gasps> Vintage. So adorable. Thanks. <laughs> that is totally the ugliest skirt I've ever seen. Oh my God, I love your bracelet. Where did you get it? So are you going to send any candy canes? No. I don't send them. I just get them. <laughs> so you better send me one, Biatch. Love ya. I was definitely sending her one. I was going to use three candy canes to crack Gretchen Wieners. Three, please.